courtier of Travis's has just joined my court. What the fuck? So this next child did end up being another girl. I'll have your mother educate you as well. Where's your mother? Come here, mother, mother. Here you go. You can have the girls. I'll have one of the girls. And I'm also educating Prince Alfred. What a weird name for who we are, but there was an event for it, so why not? I'm not naming them anyway. I can't be that creative with names for characters that are hardly going to live at all for the long term, I guess. I mean, they're only really going to be here for the short term. I can have a couple sons due to the amount of kingdoms I have. It looks like the kingdom of Wild Chi is one of the first ones I lose. I'm not going to have to worry about losing any counties or duchies. The more kingdoms I get, the more I have that I can like give out. They only seem to take one equivalent title, so kingdom. So if I have more sons, I could go retake Serbia like now. And then that would help. I can ask my head of faith for gold. No, I need that piety. I need that for some more holy wars. Oh, we've won another siege. So let's go do another one. I'm not keeping a good enough eye on this. I wish I could automate it like Imperator. Because there's so much other stuff to pay attention to. It's hard to do in multiplayer. Hard to do. I'm at 56% war score. All of this for one county. Might be going faster if I was paying more attention. But I'm not paying that much attention. So it's uh, it's going a little slow. But we have to do what we have to do, I guess. Interesting. Someone else occupied this, and the Serbians are now... Or, and someone else. That Norwegian dude. Or, Swedish. The dude I sent over to Narfi is now besieging it as well, and we're besieging over here. I didn't think it would be so fucking difficult to enforce my demands when it was literally just one county. I've never gone to war for one county like this before. It is quite troublesome. But my easiest chance to get a bunch of stuff kind of went away with my ability to try to forcefully vassalize these guys here. Unless they fall apart, which they're not. Looks like they're just growing. Yeah, because they're also ganging up on Greater Moravia just like I am. So many are ganging up on Greater Moravia. They're just going to fall apart. Holy crap, look at Bavaria. Jesus, these guys are growing. Well, looks like this guy did just win his war. He got one county out of it. So he was fighting a massive war for one county just like me. That seems like such a waste of time. I think it's way too difficult. But attacker controls the war target, as we see. Is building up, like, infinitely, independently of everything else. So, it's actually not too bad. But it does still stand to point out we've been at war for over two years. For one county. That's still pretty crazy. Looks like we've won another siege, and we're now up to... 80%. We're also out of food. So, we're starting to starve out here. A lot of the buildings that I've been building have been finishing as well. There's too many things to really point out in this game, just like Imperator. What the fuck happened here? A snake in the court. The man climbed up to the window. This, this, this event happens a lot. The bar is like full here on our side. You'd think I'd be able to enforce right now. I can enforce white peace, but that's not what I'm here for. My son Alfred is so full of questions. What the fuck? When a father and mother love each other very much, he gets curious. Alright. Well, you have fun with your curiosity, but don't be a cat. Oh, I can ransom a bitch. I need money. I like money. Money's always good. Neighboring ruler won war. King Louis, I think that's Italy. Against Corsica. Oh, Italy's growing. Italy's growing. A lot of kingdoms are starting to form. And empires having some problems. Now, one thing of note is both of the Holy Orders are actually hired out right now to the other players' vassals. So, if I did want to go fight these guys, I'd have a problem. Because I'd have to use my own troops. Thus defeating the ease that comes with the Holy War. Hmm, what the hell is Munition? Munition Conquest? Oh, that's mine. That's me. My, I have a duchy that's trying to conquer all of Moldavia. Well, if they did that, that would actually help me, I guess. I would get to skip conquering it myself. It's quite interesting that that's happening, however. Now, I wish my duchies would go start conquering stuff out here instead of me doing it for them. I know once I take this, because it's going to go to one of my other vassals, I will get a weak hook on him. And I could use that to modify the contract a little bit. I think contracts do last, like, forever. Because this, I don't think this is the same duchess that joined me. But her taxes are still like low and shit. I'd have to be tyrannical 
to raise them without a hook. For 89%, we're about to win two sieges, so this war should be over momentarily. The conquests that my vassals and my allies are doing for me aren't giving me as much stuff. My daughter finished a lesson held by Miroslav. She could get just or I could get stressed because of other things. Yeah, so naturally I just want you to have just. It's mainly the things I take that are worth a lot, but a lot of this stuff isn't actually worth a lot to begin with. We're at 99% now, so we're almost there. So it's almost done. We probably won't even need to take another location before it actually, like, ticks over just thanks to holding the war target. But I'll still move over to help with this one final siege for the time being. I think most of the wars, yeah, most of the wars these guys are in are dead. Oh, speaking of dead. Done, I mean. And we can do this. So we get a weak hook on this duke of Visegrad. I, we get and share 300 prestige. Let's enforce the demands. And voila, the war is over. So be it. Get a favor hook on this man. Let's uh, modify your contract, shall we? I want more taxes. Always more taxes. Never levies. Always taxes. That's what I want. Feudal taxes. Thank you very much. I have two prisoners that can be ransomed immediately. One for 50 and one for 25. Oh, but I can only do one of these at a time. Let's go ahead and disband my military as it stands. Um, I can't. No armies can be disbanded. Why? Because you're moving? War's over. Why can you... Can you? Do you need to be in my territory? They, they might need to be in my territory. It's weird because these other guys certainly don't need to be. Or it might be because we're still at war, technically. Because we are still at war. The Byzantine War is still going on. Looks like my vassal is winning here. I don't know exactly what he's trying to take. What is he trying to take? I can actually see. Munition conquest of the chief... He's going for one singular county. Alright, that's something. That's kind of like what I'm doing. <laughs> we're up to 45. Yeah, this is going to be tough. This is actually going to be really fucking tough. To get all this stuff under control. I'll go ahead and raise the size of my armored footmen to three. Get them to be a little bit stronger. I want to keep raising my men-at-arms. I just don't know how to best manage everything together at the moment. We're pretty much paying full price for everything right now. Except for this. Because they're all repairing. And so we can see that we still have plenty of money left. When we're not having the vassals out. So we could probably raise this even further, quite frankly. Oh, look. Household savings. That's awesome. I also ransomed that uh, other guy out, that kid. We could maybe raise this even more then. There's big initial costs to raising, but I think I'll pay them. Yeah. It's up at five now, which is the default highest level. The extra two is just because of the Eastern Roman stuff we've gotten. This should be good enough for now. Any higher might be a little bit risky. And we'll just recover our military for the time being. They need time to recruit these new armored footmen. They need time to finish re-recruiting the Coney. The levies are coming back. That's going to be something that limits us as well. And we have another perk. I think I'm going to put this somewhere in here. I'd like to go down this way. Maybe we can get some offer vassalization acceptance or something like that. I think I'll go ahead and get benevolent intent first, because I do a lot of swaying. I can go to war with Croatia as well to get these two things. These are two things that I want. They're in my empire land, as we can see. So Croatia could be another war target for some very limited stuff. Also, a, a ducal conquest of county? Seizure of counties to create an uncreated title of duchy rank, huh? Well, I don't need any of that stuff down here. I literally just need the crap up here. I wish I could do this by duchy, man. It would make this so much easier. And buildings are going up. There's this one county down here that even if my duke here wins his war, will not be claimed even if we do a duchy war. So I think I will start a holy war for this right now. It'll be 100 piety to start this. Just for this one little spot. We'll go ahead and... Oh, what's this? King will lose opinion of me. And declared war on their child. That's funny. Cultural acceptance between Russians and Byzantarians decreases by 3%. Oh, interesting. Didn't know that that was a thing. Well, let's go ahead and declare that war. And I'm doing this because I saw both of the Holy Orders are back. And so I can hire them pretty much for free. Oh, wait, no, that's a lie. I can only hire one at a time. Huh. Well, at least I'll always have a spare. Let's assign my best commander to this group. 
and let's have him going up to capture my war target. It's a short, simple, easy war. Shouldn't be too bad. The Byzantines are really having trouble with their succession war here. Oh, they lost their capital. Holy crap. I don't really care if they win or lose it, to be honest. If they fell apart, I feel like that would only be good for me. Not that I'd be able to piece together the Byzantine Empire. I don't own enough of it, even remotely. I got the Serbians and some others in on this war. We're going to go grab this county. It should be pretty easy to do with just this group here. The enemies are already out of their army due to their war with my duchy. A war which has ended, and the duchy was did not actually claim what they went to war for. All right, well, I guess I'll still be able to go to a holy war later for the rest of what's here. In the meantime, I just build up my money and stuff while we allow a holy order to do the fighting for me. The lack of ability for holy order declarations, like holy war declarations, because these guys are Catholic, is inconvenient. It makes it a lot harder to wage these wars, but also the claims, the claims available to me. Big part of the problem. We have levies that number up to 10,000 with our current size. This is fucking ridiculous. Looks like this is a pretty well fortified place, so our holy order doesn't necessarily have the siege equipment to get through here quickly, but they will get through here. How does this war look? No other nations coming in this time. Yeah, yeah, okay, good, good. One fact yet remains about my strategy and my plans, and that is that even if this leader dies, it doesn't reset my progress again. Because right now we only have one prince. He's set to inherit everything. And if that stays the case, then I can get through one more child. Now, he's 30 years younger. So if this guy dies when he's in his 60s, this guy will already be in his 30s, which is not necessarily a good thing. But it's extra time. We just have to hope we have no more children. <laughs> And that this kid doesn't die, assuming he's the only son. Looks like poor Travis is being attacked by a Northman army. Which is where? I think these things just like spawn or something. I have no idea what this is based out of. Jarldom of the Northman army. And it's right here. So a giant Viking army basically spawned on top of him to fuck him up. That's quite interesting. Even though he's being friendly, technically speaking, more difficulty for the other players is only good for me. It gives me a chance to try to get ahead. Let's see, they're all still tribal kingdom tier realms, so we're all kingdom tiers. I'm the only feudal. I'm the most established in this religion, and I have my own hybrid culture, for what that's worth. We're all moving towards our own empires, however... I don't know who's going to get there first. I have too many kingdoms is a problem. None of them really have more kingdoms. I'm the only one that has a fuck ton of kingdoms I have to keep reclaiming. That keeps slowing me down. I'm doing my best. I really want to get that empire together because if I do, if I do, then I can keep the empire. And then if I lose a kingdom, it's not as bad. Well, technically, I could just hand the kingdoms out at that point anyway to non-children. And then when my emperor dies, then there would be nothing for my kids to inherit that's kingdom level. These guys keep pausing. For once, it's not me. Let's see. Lately, can't help but notice the gaggle of giggling maidens. Yeah, we've seen something like that. All of this is bad for me. All of this puts my stress to critical. Lustful pages. Uh, juicy, confident lover. I don't need more fertility. For more fertility is bad for me right now. I'll go for the piety. We're gonna get stressed the fuck out. We've been overwhelmed by stress. That's not good. We're gonna have to try to fix that as soon as possible. I'll just be strong and resist these impulses, whatever these impulses are. And I have plenty of money, so I can definitely do some decisions to get my stress down. It just kind of went over, like, instantaneously. Feasts are pretty good for me because my character is gluttonous. So let's go ahead and uh, let's hold a feast. That's 200. I'm no- instantly. I'm instantly no longer overwhelmed by stress. Welcome, friends. Welcome. How goes the Holy War? We're about to win this siege. The Serbians showed up. With my fellow friend, my fellow landed vassal, my friend up in the Viking territory. That's nice. Had interesting conversations. Oh, wait, what the fuck? My vassal goes on and on about court alliances. Are you sure I'm not boring? Oh, okay. Had interesting conversation. Diplomacy and learning. Well, yeah, that's, that's fine by me. I like that. Looks like the Byzantines are losing that liberty war. What does that mean? 
What is the war goal here? Oh, they're trying to lower the crown authority. Well, that doesn't harm me. A weaker Byzantine would only technically help me. Because then I can take them over. What is this? Alright, well, a couple things just happened. Vassal taking on a desperate tone. Let's see. Hidden in the evening. It is a vassal, alright. What's he the vassal of? He owns a duchy. Well, if I get a hook on him, that could be pretty helpful. So let's get a hook on him. Let's immediately go use it on his vassal contract. You are not this vassal's rightful liege. Yet I can still raise the money. If he pays more money to his lord, then I will get more money from that vassal. So let's go ahead and modify that to high taxes, why don't we? That and the war is now done. We have received what we wanted. This is a lot easier. These holy wars, you get what you want and then that's pretty much it. Fervor goes down. I've been looking at the fervor. I'm sure we've been raising their fervor quite a bit. But I did just get a county. And a bunch of things happen. You should feudalize blah blah blah. Well, here's the thing. I actually don't want to even keep it. This county must be part of a... Why is this doing this? Part of a duchy, right? Or if it might be part of a duchy that's like not formed. I don't know. But we have a duke here. He's a vassal. He's not a powerful vassal. He's just a vassal. I can grant him this title. Or I could just grant it to someone else, but... I think this would work just fine, granting him this title. Here you go. Take this county. It's right next to you. Looks good on your plate. Let's go ahead and disband the Holy Order. Now that we've won this war. Looks like these guys are in another war. Defending against... Uh, looks like an internal conflict. Yeah, it's an internal conflict. And their army is completely destroyed at this point. So, that's another war done. We have more and more and more money just coming in. Wow, we can afford a pretty big men-at-arms regiment. But this is only if we don't lose things. Murder. What? I'm gonna murder my knight. Okay, interesting. And we get prestige and opinion because the feast ended. Yay! I can go to war with the guy of the north. Well, the problem I'll face is the fact that he's allies with West Francia. That's a very strong country right now. In fact, it's extremely strong. The Byzantines are currently losing a liberty war, so they wouldn't be much help to me in this situation, which is unfortunate. The Croats are losing a conquest, which they have just lost. It appeared to have been to Greater Moravia. We can declare war on them in their weakened state, Technically speaking, we can go to war and seize de jure county. We could only claim one to begin with, but we can go claim this one. I can get the contested county. And so we're always working towards our goal. This would be plus one county towards everything I need. They're weak right now. They don't have anything. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, they have no allies. So let's go ahead and declare war. War declared on the queen. All right. We can surely call in some house members, I'm sure, like the Serbians. Welcome. You keep helping me because I haven't reconquered you yet. So thank you for the help. Their stuff is so weak that this is where getting just men at arms could actually be really helpful. Because I could raise just men at arms and they could probably do this whole thing for me, quite frankly. I think I'll go ahead and pay to raise these guys up to seven. Full strength in three months. So I could theoretically hold off raising my troops for a little bit. And then we probably put them over here. And then raise them right there. And then just march across. Because the enemies don't really have much stuff anyway. So this would be the 1250 setup I was talking about. And then I can see what it's like to run around with literally just that stuff out. And I might be able to raise more men-at-arms to make another even stronger uh, men-at-arms force. Generous liege. Hmm. Vassal taxes reduced, but vassal opinion up. Yes, I need that loyalty. I like to get rid of problems, internal problems like that. Either way, the Serbs are joining. Look, I mean, right now my total men-at-arms army is pretty much almost as large as the entire Serb army, and that's accounting for a lot of vassals. I see why my levies was at 10,000 before. It's because it was from the Holy Order. The Holy Order vassals counted towards that. Huh. I have become obese. That is not good. But of course, he is a glutton, so it makes sense. Kinswoman has given birth to a son. An obese leader is not good. If Alfred inherited early, that wouldn't change much, so long as we don't have another son. But obese is not good. That will hurt my health. I don't know if I can really get rid of that. I'm just gonna hire everybody as we have them. All men-at-arms. 
higher here. And then they should build up just fine. Well, it says they're unraised, but I think that's because they're in the process of raising. Started out at zero, which is weird. Not really sure how this is going to look. And I can get a new perk. Let's get this right here. Monthly prestige per powerful vassal on the council. Okay. Neat. Gathering supplies. All right. And then we have 1,200 currently. Can you, like, gather more supplies, like, manually? No, I don't think so. But this is it. This is everything that we have right now, plus our knights. So it's a very high-quality force. So we can go ahead and take that and start besieging this barony. And hopefully we should have more than enough supplies. We have 100 out of 300. Apparently we can gather more. Oh, yeah, if we just stay in friendly territory, we can gather more. Well, the main thing we want to take over is this. The rest can come later. The rest can be pursued afterwards. We have more than enough income still with the current situation. We almost maxed out the armored footmen stuff here. They're still like 60 short. But it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. End up to 1,200 because of the extra 10 from just the knights. We can raise the levies later if, if we need them. I know they're going to be getting their army size back up. This is a good sign that we can afford more men-at-arms. We have another 6.8 income to work with. I do really want to get cataphracts because that's a heavy cavalry. That is special to Eastern Rome at the moment. It would totally be cool to get them. There's less of them in any one thing, and they're differently useful. Differently useful. They're instead of light cavalry, they are heavy cavalry. They counter the same type, and they're countered by the same type. They're stronger with raw damage and toughness. So it'd be cool to get them. My heavy infantry counter spearmen, who counter my cavalry, which is good. So we have like a counter there. Heavy infantry are countered by skirmishers, who I could counter by getting my own pikemen. They counter all kinds of uh, cavalry. Pikemen would be a lot cheaper than getting the cataphracts. We can have two more things. One of them can be cataphracts. One can just be pikemen. I'm trying to find a balance in my men-at-arms for the time being, where they can kind of counter things by themselves. Let's go ahead and create the pikemen unit. It looks like we've already won this siege somehow. I have no idea how that was capable of happening, but it happened. That gives us plus 24, and that is the war target, technically speaking, so that should count to be quite a lot, theoretically. They're actually successfully besieging something of mine over here. I'm going to go actually try to deal with their little army. This is their entire army, and we can reclaim this. That would help. The Byzantines are turning their liberty war around. That's cool. We have the spearmen. I went with the spearmen just because they're cheaper and they have less of a max. Building up that other heavy cavalry will be special. I'm trying to get like one of everything we are unique with and then some siege equipment because siege equipment is pretty important. My daughter should keep chaste. Stay chaste. Have less children. It's very important. Preserve the bloodline. Or whatever the hell it is we do. Since we're raising the pikemen, we're technically paying full price. We can definitely raise the overall value of them. It's a little expensive, but with the way we're fighting this war, it won't really be a problem to spend this money. Alright, so that spends a lot of my money, but that'll get them recruiting up to max. And with m full spending on them and everything, we can now maintain men-at-arms that are, well, a lot of our income. We've reclaimed what our opponents here have taken. And now we'll try to go ahead and intercept them. Because they did run away and get away from me. They suffered some attrition running throughout my territory trying to get away from me. I'm going to try to catch up to them. As I hope that I can intercept them. Eventually, I hope I make just enough money that I can maintain all my men-at-arms and levies at the same time. And hopefully I have a pretty decently sized force. If I stuck to my strengths, especially with these like armored footmen and such, I might get a better situation. Like a better overall force, but I'm really not sure. So right now, now that we've retaken what we've lost, when we're going to go fight, we have a much better quality force fighting their levies and such. We are absolutely demolishing them. And we're winning. Okay, that's 72% war score. And we've only taken one place because we have 40% from battles won because I guess it was because it was most of its army. Wow. Damn. And I gained a manipulation hook on my cousin and court physician. A manipulation hook? can ask her to take vows. What's the point of that? What do, what do I care about any of this? I don't want to imprison her. I don't want to do anything. Wow, we only lost 10 men and they lost 163. That is hilarious. There's like no survivors. We get to fight with like minimal troops to do this war. 
Affording all these men at arms plus the levies is going to be a massive drain on my finances at this rate, but should hopefully be fine. We'll start kind of getting some more money back once we can put this stuff away. We have all of our income back. Hiring all levies is still a weird thing I don't fully understand. It seems to like split out a little bit. I don't know. It's weird. It's so weird. We can hold court for 100 prestige. We have so much prestige at this point. Oh, God. Court physician was caught red-handed hauling away dead bodies. Because, of course. Just cut it off. I'm not imprisoning my court physician for this. My liege. Launch investigation. Infamous preacher in Preslav. You see, this preacher is a woman that's not in accordance with our faith. Let's see here. Um, false preacher in prison, but it's preacher loved by the peasants. Development growth, that's pretty important. And popular opinion, also pretty important. I think I'll keep her. I like the buffs I'm getting from that. Peasant woman brought before me. She will not stop dancing. What? Trailing blood from her mangled feet. I cannot cease, my lord. None of us can uh, not until we collapse. Help us. I get 100 piety, lower development growth, contained dancing mania, or let's see, I can dance, they'll lose development growth anyway, and reduce holding taxes by lose uh, taxes. I don't want to lose taxes, so let's go ahead and just do this part. Contain dancing mania and get some piety and such. That's kind of fucking weird. Alright, business is done here. Oh, I see. My wife is the one that manipulated my physician. What an interesting thing. Looks like I can promote my culture some more. Yeah, we've converted all this stuff over here. So what's around? We have Serbian stuff we can convert. That's eight years. We have the Vlach stuff we can convert. We have Avar stuff. It all takes eight. Russian as well. And Mogyur up here. Either way, it's not going to be a simple task. We can go ahead and work on promoting it somewhere. My vassals can technically do the same with their own lands. The thing is that they're probably of a different culture, and that's why this happens. Well, no, my culture is starting to spread to my vassals. They're just not really working very hard on converting things. Let's go ahead and promote it in some of this Vlach territories up here. Well, we've claimed another thing. Oh, level of splendor increase. Nice. I don't even know what these do. Children are born. Oh, children are born with a certain amount of prestige. Oh, that's cool. Um, all right, so we've taken another barony here, another oh, Liberty War count. Oh, white peace. All right, cool. We've taken another county, and we're taking another one, two more, in fact. And these should theoretically end the whole war once we take them. I don't think our opponents have much of any soldiers. They have some. I have no idea where the fuck they are. They're not causing me any problems. I know that. And then without <laughs> raising a single levy. We will have pretty much won this war, and we have recruited an entire another pikeman group. Well, an entire pikeman group, I guess, which is nice. I don't know if we can ever get more men-at-arms, or if we're always limited to five. No, no, I think it's based on the, yeah, the, this limit here. Plus one comes from our culture, something we have in our culture from the hybrid. Plus four comes from being kingdom level, so we'll probably get another one when we become an empire. So our max might be six? Unless we get more from, like, culture, technology, and such. Wow. The siege here is slow. Really? It's because they have a lot of fort level. I'd have to hire more siege equipment, which I really don't necessarily want to be doing right now. Let's get some firm hand. Thank you very much. Here's the enemy army, just chilling out. Um, looks like the courtier that I sent north is trying to take care of it. This courtier is my cousin. Well, now he's just running around. He doesn't know what the fuck to do. This war is about to be over. Yeah.